Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're continuing our look at Pursuit of Cobra Wave 6 in honor of the What's on Your Mind flashback episode. I am never doing that again. Today, it's one of my favorite figures, the Pursuit of Cobra Rock Viper. I happen to have left him in package just so you can see how he came in this neutral pose as opposed to um, crazy legs but the only thing was he was holding a couple weapons in his hand and they were rubber banded in i obviously have removed those rubber bands and so i've removed the figure but um rock viper was actually one of my favorite joes back in the day um i was a little disappointed he didn't come with his uh rifle that he had back then but this guy is loaded with accessories here's a look at the back and quite interestingly he was part of the arctic threat um campaign in my opinion i think he would have worked better in the desert campaign and i think once we get him out of package you'll see the figure's coloring um works better with a desert motif this guy was very hard to find so Hopefully this um, review might help you decide if you want to spend the internet markup that he's going for now. And here's the Rock Viper out of package without any of his accessories attached. With the exception of the uh, knife here on his sh sheath. I just wanted to give you a straight up look at the figure minus all of his accoutrements. Just so you can see the base look. As I mentioned in the introduction, this, um, like, coffee ice cream brownish color pattern with the red cam with red splotches, like that camouflage, really says desert theme to me more than, um, Arctic theme. Now, having no experience in the military whatsoever, this might be the perfect color to blend in in icebergs and snow. Now, for, now the predominant body comes from, I do believe, low light. And that explains this little port on his legs. On the low light figure, you were able to peg in his sniper rifle scope. That's just there for being there. Um... Other than that, I don't know where like the arm guards come from and what have you. Let's take a look at his articulation. Okay, here's just a nice little detailed shot of the figure up close. See that camo pattern? The head does it, it's just muted as his eyes seem to be looking up. I should mention the helmet is removable, but I do have the Dickens of a time uh, keeping it on straight it if i try to adjust it it tends to go down over his eyes head is on a ball joint full rotation but as i mentioned the helmet is a little loose so you gotta may want to just keep that in mind when you're moving things around arms are on that swivel joint bend at the elbow 90 degrees, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, and the additional wrist pivot and articulation. Right hand goes up and down, left hand folds in and out, but due to the wrist guard, the left hand can really only fold in. Waist, moderate ab crunch. Um, Coming down to his hips, ball joint, double jointed knees, and, uh, and forward and back ankle pivot, no rocker, but um, pivoting the foot forward is kind of difficult due to these shin guards. All in all, really nice troop builder figure. Again, as I mentioned in the intro um, the rock viper comes with a lot of accessories starting us off is this great pickaxe which i hope i can hold in my hands 
to show you. Um, he came with that Arctic Threat Destro, uh, a handgun that unfortunately doesn't have a holster, so I usually leave it in the package. Now this is where things get interesting. He comes with this great uh, short-barreled automatic rifle, as well as this wonderful sniper rifle that I think we first saw with 25th Anniversary Zartan version 1. Um, that means you can outfit your Rock Vipers to be snipers or general infantry troopers. I was disappointed that they went with this rifle instead of remaking his original rifle, which I think would have combined this and the fully automatic rifle. But you know what? I can understand they had to go with the accessory allotment they did, and it's really not that bad. Plus, I have the old Rock Viper, so I can use it. But the big accessory is his grappling backpack, which I think is a reproduction from the old days. I'm fairly certain the original Rock Viper had this. It's been 20 years, I really don't remember. And what's even better is that it has this wonderful tactical battle spear that is can be stored in a loop in the pack. I actually had the pleasure of pointing this out to Justin Bell, General Hawk himself from General's Joe's, because he didn't even realize this was a feature of the figure. How you doing, Justin? Well, let me slap some gear on this guy and show you what he looks like all geared up. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I do want to show you the grappling feature of the figure. Um, the pack fits on relatively easily. Um, buckles in the front, pegs into the back. And all you do is just grab one end, grab the other, and you can slide them back and forth. Whee! You know, you want to hold them in the middle. Um, the retaliation figures tend to have a better grappling feature. And oddly enough, there are two knots on either end that really keep the figure from going too far to the end. Which kind of makes sense, so it allows you to hold the rope. But, that's uh, how you grapple them. When the Rock Viper gets hungry and on the go... This is the kind of guy who knows how to do one thing and one thing only. Spear fishing. Oh yeah. In case you're wondering, yes, the um, Rock Viper can hold the sniper rifle in it with that trigger finger. Um, it takes a little work to get it into his hand, and unfortunately the arm gauntlets really limit the ability to get it up in a good firing pose. But hey, this is better than what we had back in the day, and it still looks fairly cool. To use a term that we frequently use on What's on Joe Mine, Rock Viper is coming way from downtown. It was a surprise to see this character updated for the Pursuit of Cobra line. And it was a real pleasant surprise, especially for me. Unfortunately, he was very hard to find as Wave 6 ended up coming out before Wave 5, and those later Wave figures weren't being stocked in some stores due to slow sales of the earlier Waves. I highly recommend this figure. And if you have to find him on a secondary market, I wouldn't pay more than $25. $30 would be pushing it, just because it's nice, but I think there were some newer figures from Retaliation and, the F and Pursuit of Cobra that are worth the money more. This is your old pal Chuck for the Rock Viper. We'll see you next time.